sigue reinando Son los mejores tabacos del mundo Fuente sigue reinando Son los mejores tabacos del mundo Dímelo mi gente Happy Fuente Friday everyone I hope you have a fantastic week and get ready for a fun full weekend for you and your friends and family guys but before i get started uh we do have a special guest tonight but before we get started i need a cocktail got a little couple of changes i got a plant in the back a real nice palm tree um I, you know i've been looking all over the place for tobacco leaf you know they don't have to be real ones but they could be like you know artificial tobacco leaf plants but I'm just having a hard time finding them, my peoples. But I hope you guys had a fantastic week, as I said, and get ready for a full fun weekend. Let me know what Fuente cigar you're smoking on this Fuente Friday. But uh, And I got a little treat for you guys. I've been working on the Montesino Monday and the Fuente Friday 2.0 uh, live stream studio. It's coming along. Not Not everything is in place, but... It is coming along little by little, and I'll share a little clip with you of what I've got going on in here. And uh, I don't know. Tell me, man, what are you guys smoking tonight? Let's see some of our guests here tonight. And uh, well, our guests will be coming in, but our people that are watching, we got Michi. What's going on, Michi? I hope everything is all good with you and your lovely man there next to you. How's he doing? All right. And then we have another person. Alaki, I, Alaki, I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but either way, hello. And then uh, Michi says she's smoking an Opus Eight Eight Eight. What a fine cigar! It's that kind of a night. I hear you. Uh, let's see, what have we got? Who else? I don't know what's going on. Saying hello to Michi. Uh, we got uh, Mark Bates. He says he hears that beat. We'll be with you until my I freeze or my battery wears out. Wow, okay. Who else we got here? We got Carl Rutherford. Welcome to the show. All right, who else? Tony, we, got? we got Caesar. We're going to bring uh, Arnold in just a little bit here. I just want to say hello to everybody. And I know he's in the green room. Nelson, what's going on? So uh, before we get started, guys, uh, remember, help the Boys and Girls Club in Tampa. Any donation will go towards a safe place for them to grow, become educated, socialize, have great mentoring, and most importantly, allowing kids to enjoy life without any hardship or any selfish adult would push upon them. These kids will help create a better future for our lineage. It only takes one shot, one act of kindness, one hope to change a life. It doesn't matter if it's $5 or if it's $5 million. Every cent counts, and every cent will go to the future of these kids. So please donate today. Cynthia has been doing this for quite some time now, and she's raising money for the Boys and Girls Club of Tampa, and your contribution will make an impact whether you donate $1, $5, or 10 And we want to thank you for your support. There's a link there. Put a sparkle in a child's eye this holiday season. And you know the holidays are right around the corner, guys. The link is not clickable, but it is right there, and you can copy it there, and then go ahead and make your donation. So with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and bring in our guest. His name is Arlo Serafin. Let's see. Arlo, hey, your head's cut off, my brother. Where you at? Oh, there you go. What's going that, on, man? How you doing? Tony, thanks for having me on the show. I'm really, uh, I'm really honored to be here tonight with you. Oh, absolutely, man. You know, uh, I, I remember back last year when I was in the DR, and somehow we got con we got connected over there, and you were talking about an Arturo Fuente cigar box. Do you remember that? I do. As a yeah, matter of fact, I was telling uh, my friend Caesar uh, or Fernando. Uh, he, you know, he's probably tuning in right now. He he's a good friend of mine. He's been helping me out for the past couple of years at the store, and I told him, I said, you know, Tony uh, had had said he was interested in the in the vintage boxes that we have at the shop. And, uh, you know, had I known we were going to be doing the show, I would have definitely brought them home or, or done the show at the shop. 
so you guys can see all the really awesome point the boxes oh, yeah, that yeah. I have. And, and we could talk about that. And hopefully that Cynthia will chime in. I know she's getting ready. Let's see. Back your camera just back a little bit oh. so we can see you all because you're, you're you're getting cut off still. Back it up more. Maybe oh, can you go really, further or let me adjust it. Yeah, all let me right. Just do a little bit of an adjustment. Yeah, Is that better? Know. We're getting we're getting it together. Almost, almost. All right, there you go. That's cool. All right. So how was your week, man? <laughs> Tell me. Great. I mean, the weather here in Florida couldn't be better. I'm sitting out here on my patio. It's like 60 degrees. It's just nice, a beautiful nice. night. You know? All right. All right. Well, I'm going to bring up another window here. Uh, we'll just wait for Cynthia to come on in. And then we got sure. my brother Carlos uh, chiming in. Abrazo, oh, Arno, you are familia. <laughs> and so proud to say that over and over again. It is lo mejor. He's my brother, you, man. Yeah. No, no. You know, Carlitos is, is, is one of the best, man. And maybe he'll, he'll chime in later, a little, little later today, or maybe even come on the show. But either way, Arnold. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have Cynthia on the on you know on the show tonight. She's just getting ready and stuff. I think she's on her way back home. She was with uh, with her daughter and the grandson and her and her son in law. Oh, that's right. She so just had a baby, yeah. right? I want to hear what she's done all this week for her birthday. You know, so we're gonna talk about that. That's but right. let's get back to you, Arnold. Look, how you know? Tell me a little bit about yourself and and what you do, man. Sure, Tony. Um, I have a small shop in uh, Tarpon Springs, Florida, which is about 25 miles, you know, for the people that aren't in the area, about 25 miles out of Tampa, um, closer to Clearwater, actually, but it's the Tampa Bay area. You know, people from actual Tampa always kind of, they get mad when they say Tampa Bay, but it's really, I guess you could say the greater Tampa area. But, um, you know, I always like to joke about it. I say, you know, I'm a little bit, I'm on the other side of town, you know, because everybody's over in Ybor City and stuff. And I'm kind of doing the cigar thing in Pinellas County, which is, you know, like I said, on the other side of town, but, uh, you know, Cuban family, my, uh, my, my father, my grandfather, four generations in the business, you know, going back to Cuba and stuff, they made cigars as well. And, uh, pro let's see, back in the early two thousands, my dad and I decided we wanted to get back into the business. My mother had, uh, she had been sick for, for a number of years, unfortunately, and she passed away back in, uh, 2003. And, uh, once that happened, that was kind of a pivotal moment for me because, you know, my father had, had told me for years, oh, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to get back into business. But with my mother and her, and her health situation, it was very difficult. And uh, finally, in 2003, we decided to do it 100%. And, uh, you know, he was with me until 2019. I lost him in 2019. Wow. wow. I'm sorry but, to hear uh, that, my brother. Yeah. But the, the, the main thing is you got memories that will last a lifetime. And that's what you got to do. Oh, my God. You know? So much memory. So many memories. It was such a yeah. great time with him. Yeah, you know? man. So what are you smoking tonight? Okay, so right now I have a Magnum R. Let me see if I can you see it on the camera? Yeah, 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 I see it. It's 44. a Magnum R 52. 52, actually. Oh, 52, okay. Five by 52. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it in the camera. There we go. So, funny thing is, you told me like at six o'clock that I was going to be on the show. <laughs> so, I didn't really prepare to get to this, right? <laughs> I, would, but, I just sprung it on you, my brother. <laughs> yeah, but, but luckily enough, I went into my humidor. And I have this Fuente R52, you know, for years it's been in the humidor. And uh, I also have a Hemingway over here. See? So I've got my little stash, you know, among other things. I've got, I had a, a Casa Fuente in there from Vegas, which is like from the early 2000s. And I oh, thought about wow. firing that puppy up. But I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to save that for another occasion. There you go. There so you I'm going to fire this guy up right now. So, so, so let's talk about, you know, what, what, what's your everyday cigar, my man? Well, my everyday cigar, um, we got a few different brands that we're making here locally. Um, I got an old Tampa brand, which is called Florida Tampa, and I like to smoke those quite a bit. And, um, you know, it's a, it's an old brand from 1891 that I was able to, to, to get registered, and um, it's really coming a long way. I mean, people really like it, so I smoke quite a bit of those. Um, we also have another brand, which is called the Prince of Wales, Principe de Gales. Let me get it back in the camera here. Okay. And this brand... Belonged to Mr. Ebor from Ebor City. Mr. Ebor? It was, uh, okay. yeah, this was Mr. Ebor's brand from Ebor City. Wow. It, okay. uh, he founded it in Cuba in 1853, and then he took it to Key West. And then ultimately in 1886, he decided to come up to Key West, or I'm sorry, up to Tampa, and of course create Ebor City, and that was the brand that he uh, that he brought up here. Wow. You, so, you, it, it, you know what? Let me tell you something. Arnold, it seems like you got a little bit of history on Tampa. Tell us a little bit, you know, the, the, the early beginnings of, of your time and growing up with your grandfather, growing up with your father. Tell us a little bit about Tampa. Well, you know, I got to tell you, I, I'm going to put this out here. 
believe it or not, my early years were in Jersey. I'm a Jersey guy. But um, we came to Tampa quite a bit because we had family here. So we always used to come to Tampa and visit. Then I spent some time in Miami. But then ultimately, when I, when I came up here to Tampa to finally move, um, you know, I came here and I visited all my family. And I spent countless, you know, countless hours around Ybor City and just touring all the historical sites. And, I mean, I just love the history of Tampa, man. I'm just fascinated by it because, I mean, like Alito always says, it's, it's something that's dear to our heart. It's like it's ours. It's, it's our heritage, you know. Yeah, right, right, and uh, yeah. I, I embrace it. I love it, you know. So, I, you know, tell us, uh, you know, I know you have a shop. Can you tell us your location and, uh, oh, sure. uh, yeah, your operations there and everything? Yeah, it's, um, it's over in uh, the Greek neighborhood of Tarpon Springs. It's at 45 Dota Canis Boulevard. And uh, believe it or not, if Carlito's looking or tuning in, he'll, he'll know that uh, it's across the street from the old Papa's restaurant, which is, it was a very famous Greek restaurant back in the day. And um, he used to he used to jam out there with his band with pieces. Is that right? Yeah, he wow. always told me those stories. Yeah, he used to come out from Tampa and they did weddings and all sorts of gigs back in the day. So, to needless to say, that. I'm, I'm looking on. forward to having him over here. Sometime. <laughs> all right, my man. So you know, uh, I, I tell you, you know, the thing is about Tampa, it's just a beautiful place, man. I love the history there. Uh, I can't wait to get there. I know that the, the the cigar heritage is coming up pretty quick in about, you know, about I would say about a month and a week, man. You know, I mean, we're towards the end of right. October already. So I'm looking forward to, you know, spend a little time. I'm going to come in on a Thursday. I'd love to come by your place and, and oh, hang an out. And, 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 and tell Absolutely. me, I know you said you have some, you know, tell us a little bit of history about that box. That, oh, that yeah, well, yeah. Me. I mean, I've got, um, I've got about three different boxes and I wish I had the pictures or – I could probably send you the pictures if you want to put them on the show. Yeah, I can um, do that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll figure out a way here to, to send you the pictures right. so, so you could see them. But um, they're vintage boxes. One of them, I want to say, is like from 1951. Um, and it's an old box. Believe it or not, a friend of mine had it. And he had it in his shed out of all places. And when I asked him about it, he said, oh, yeah, this is my grandfather had this for years. This was his box. And I said, boy, that would be a, an amazing box to have for my collection. And he just kind of gave it to me. So I, oh, I, I was, I was let me, on. Let me interrupt it. real quick. You have a yeah. full box from what I know. Am I correct? Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's, uh, oh. it, I wish it was full. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's, an, it's an empty box. It's okay. an empty box. And then uh, we have one from this, I want to say from the either late 60s or early 70s. God, people okay. could probably tune in on that one too. And um, then we have another one, which is like from the 60s. We've got, oh. we've got quite a few of them. Um, this past week, or let's see, two weeks ago, uh, John Oliva stopped by, and uh, so did Tommy, you know, the direct, the sales director. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And um, they got a, they got a chance to see the boxes, and they were just they were amazed. They're like, "Oh my God, this is so awesome!" I said, "Yeah." I said, "You know, uh, I, I love having them here and showing them to folks." And we've got a, a number of other vintage boxes from the Tampa area. We have an original Prince of Wales box from 1901. Wow, which I treasure. We have a Flor de Tampa from 1904 as well. And uh, some other ones too from, you know, from all the different, you know, not all the different, but some of the other factories that were in town as well. I, I think that's so cool to have, you know, a, a shops that have that old vintage boxes, you know, the, 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 oh, the start of, you know, the Turo Fuente brand and, uh, you know, that they, when, they, when they went back to Tampa, I mean, they, they've been there since, you know, 1912 when oh, they first right. came to Key West. But, I mean, to still have some of those old boxes is just incredible, man. Incredible. It's a piece of history. Yeah. No, no. And that's history that you need to share with everybody, you know. And I'm glad you have oh, yeah. it in, on display at your shop and everything where people will come by and, hey, this is one of the first boxes in 1960. I mean, I, I'd love to see it. I, I've seen photos of it, you know. If you can, we'll go ahead and try to share that with everybody. So we're, 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 while he's waiting to send us some photos – uh, I, I tell you, man, I, I've seen a photo of this vintage Arturo Fuente box. It's incredible. And uh, I remember I was in the DR and I called from the office and or he messaged me. And then I was with Cito and I said, Cito, man, this guy's got the one of the original boxes. But I think somebody else was calling in and they had an original box. with The whole box was sealed. Still the cigars in there. I don't know how what kind of shape they were in, but uh, I, I put them cool. in touch with the person. And hopefully, maybe they they got the box. I I don't remember, and I never asked about it. But we'll find out. But anyway, 
Well, uh, I just sent it to you. Okay, I see it right there. Hang on. Let's see if I can okay. bring it in. All right. So I got the picture. See that? Technical difficulties here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a little hard to see, but I think that's it, guys, right there. That's one of the original. But what, what year is this box, Arnold? Would you say? I want to say, I mean, Carlos could chime in and tell me, but I, I want to say that's from like 1950 or okay. 51. Okay. Very early, and it's in really great condition. It's got a slide top on it. Oh, it's slide it's, top. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. No, no, I think that's cool as hell. Look at that, man. It's one of the yeah, that's amazing. Uh, Michi says, look at that. Do you no. see the one next to it, the little brown one that's there? Okay, too? I see it. Yeah, that's that's like a paper covered one. Okay. And I want to say that that's from like the early seventies. And I told Carlito about. It. I sent him a picture, and Good. he said to me, he said, you know what? Chances are, when I was working in the factory, he goes, my I, I probably touched that box. Like my hands probably touched that box. Wow, you're right because I mean yeah. they, they, it was just a, a family run business. They didn't have like you know the three five thousand you know workers that they have nowadays. But man, I, I, I could I could imagine that you know going through the hands of Cynthia, going through the hands of Carlito and Don Carlos. Amazing, you know, huh? I tell you that no, that that's the thing, the hands that touched it in the beginning. You know, I the mean, history. We, yeah, no, no, it's absolutely history. Yeah, man, and it's like you know preserving it and. And people such as yourself and the other gentlemen that we had on the show, you know, a few weeks back, th this is what it's all about, man. Preserving that history and sharing it with everybody, man. But man, Absolutely. look at that box. That, that, that's incredible, man. That's incredible. So I don't know. I'm honored. What, I'm honored. Uh, hang on. He, he's chiming in right now. Carlita, let's see what he says. Oh, my goodness. All right. Make sure you visit make Arnold bigger, when you're in Tampa area. He is slowly becoming the keeper of the gate of Tampa cigar history. Wait, let me, <laughs> let me bring that up, man. You're the keeper of oh the gate God. of Tampa with, with pride. It is so comforting to know that such a much younger generation has such passion. That is true. And preserving the true history of the leaf. You know what? That is so true. I, I'm not going to ask you. You, you. You're a young guy, you know, but but the, to to have such history, that that's in, that's incredible, man. You know, that I'm is honored, definitely. Yeah, I'm no, no, absolutely, man. So, uh, what, what you got planned for the weekend, my man? What, what other upcoming events well, other than the you know the <laughs> cigar heritage? Well, this weekend, um, tomorrow I'm going to be at the shop. Every Saturday, I look forward to being at the shop. Um, you know, we're in a little tourist area there. Okay. I don't know if I told you, it's like a little Greek neighborhood, and um, it's a really neat little place. You know, and tomorrow, a handful of my regular customers go by there, my local guys. And we just sit outside and, you know, we, we joke and we have fun and we smoke cigars. I'm going to share another funny story, <laughs> which you guys are going to get a kick out of. You know how you do, how you guys do Montesino Monday? Yes. Okay. Well, I got a gentleman that hangs out at the store every Saturday. And he, he's a born, you know, Tampa born and bred guy. His name's Fred Montesino. Now, oh. the reason that that wow. name is okay. important is because his uncle was the one that used to own Montesino cigars. And he sold it to Carlos Sr., Many, many moons ago. No. Are you kidding me? No. So every Saturday we joke about it. And I say, hey, the guys over there at Fuente, they have Fuente Friday and Montesino Mondays. But you know what they don't have is Fred Montesino. I got Fred Montesino. You know what? <laughs> I got him, we, I got him we at the need, store. Let me tell you something, Arnold. I would love on the Montesino Mondays with Cynthia, you and him to come on the show, man. That would, that would be, be cool. That would be awesome. I now, let, let me just tell you a little bit about Fred, though. Yeah, yeah, he's, tell uh, us a little bit about it. Fred's probably about, probably about, God, he's going to kill me here. He's probably about maybe 65 or, or 66. We always joke. We're always, we always say, Fred, you were around when the dinosaurs were. <laughs> Which really isn't true. I mean, I'm being mean to him, you know, but I love him dearly. And um, the story about Fred, though, is he's a, he's a fourth degree Taekwondo. He, you would love the guy because you're oh, a martial arts guy. I'd have something in common with him, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my God, yeah. He, he's fourth degree, you know, fourth dan in martial arts, you know, Taekwondo, um, Judo, Jiu Jitsu. I mean, this guy trained with Steven Seagal. He wow. trained with uh, Chuck Norris. I mean, all these guys. It's unbelievable. Uh -huh. And um, among that, he was also a Little League coach in, in West Tampa. Because okay. here's another tidbit of, of, of history um, Tampa has about, I think, God, if Mario Nunez is tuning in now, he's going to be mad at me. 
And we have over 80 baseball players that came out of Tampa itself. Wow. Of course, you know, Tino Martinez, Dave Magadan, Lou Pinella, you know, the list goes on and on and on. And um, needless to say, most of that talent came out of the West Tampa Little League. And that's where Fred Montesino, um, you know, devoted a lot of his time volunteering there as a coach for many, many years, too. That's, that, that, that's something else, you know, and, 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 you know, Carlos, you know, he was one of the little leaders from West Tampa. If I'm correct, you know, Carlito, tell us a little bit about that too. You know, you played baseball for, uh, you know, in the little leagues there. So talk about that, that man, we have to bring him on the show sometime, but no, I, I tell you, we got to bring Fred on the show, man. We definitely, oh, have it would be great. Him, you know, I'll probably have to help him out technologically to do all this stuff. Cause he's not really good with that. <laughs> With okay. the That's okay. I mean, I hope, no, you, cool. Maybe we could bring it, you know, bring you in when you're at the shop, you know, we could, we could oh, do absolutely. that, you know, you could stay after hours or whatever. I'm not sure what your hours yeah. are there, but, uh, you well, know, absolutely. You, yeah, we that can do it there from there, my man. No, absolutely. Uh, I don't know. Are you having a beverage tonight? I, myself, I'll tell you what I'm yeah. having. I, okay. This is new. I, I haven't seen <laughs> this, but I'm drinking, uh, let me see. Let me bring it up. There we go. So I'm having, as you know, that number 13 is very symbolic to Don Carlos. So oh, I'm making yeah. a Chevis extra age, 13 years. Normally it's 18, but I seen it and I said, I got to have this bottle. You know, the good that stuff. number is just so symbolic, man. Look at that. Look at that. that was his favorite, right? The Chivas Regal? She, oh, yeah. Eight, yeah, Chevis 18, man. He That was his drink, man. That was absolutely You know, let me tell you a story. Drink. I Hang can tell you a story about that. We got we got oh. Cynthia, and we're gonna oh bring God. her in a little bit. Hang on, went uh, royalty, man. Mo, let's see. The... There she is, I'm Cynthia. What is going on? Hang on, let me. I think I assigned her, but I still can't hear her. So we'll figure that one out. Uh, I yeah, see your right I see your screen really Who's really that? little. Is that is that I, I, well the. What she has is she's going vertical on their phone. And hang on, there's Carlito coming saying something. I proudly played West Tampa Little League, and those boys kicked our, my ass. So I decided to learn how to make cigars. <laughs> oh, That's my funny, God. Man. Look at this guy. West so, Tampa Little League was, I'm telling you, one of the best in, in the United States. Yeah. We, well, we it's got Cynthia here. I don't know why we can't hear her. But – well, uh, Oh, there you are. Oh. How are you doing? Oh, look, just... Hi, Cynthia. Hi, how are you? So, good. How are you tonight? Well, hang I'm on good. real quick. Can you I see think... my Calito in the back? Yes, I see him back there. Yes, he's wearing pink. Yes. Oh, my God. So, real quick, real Cynthia, men wear pink. I, think, I think you have your phone vertical, right? I'm trying, Tony. I, you, I'm on my computer. I tried. Did you? <laughs> yes. Well, wait till but I get. You know what? You're just gonna I have love, to wait till I get to to Tampa listen, when I'm out there. I love doing out everything. it. I love doing it from the factory because yeah. you know from the factory there's never an issue. Yeah, but no, I'm no, here no, in no. my house and I on the That's okay. on the computer. Everything. I love doing it from the factory because yeah. you know from the factory there's never an issue. Yeah, but no, I'm no, here no, in no. my house and I. On the, that's okay. on the computer, it says that I couldn't get in. So I'm really? on the phone. I'm okay, doing my well, that's best. That's okay. Well, you're here right now anyway. That's it. So, there we go. The lighting is good. Hello, everybody. Happy Fuente Friday. Hello, hello. There we go. So I have my Aturo Fuente Rare Pink. Uh-oh. Absolutely. Uh -oh. Hold on. And I have my beautiful glass oh, to support nice. breast Very cancer nice. awareness. Absolutely. Beautiful. And I have the uh, happy ending box here, which is oh, also beautiful. Yes. So it is October. Can you see my brother, Carlos, in the background? Yes, he's right okay, there good. looking okay. as lovely as always okay, in pink. Good. Isn't he? I know. You know, he always says real, real men wear pink. There you go. Well, so, well I better start wearing some pink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, especially during October. No, absolutely. So while, while we were waiting for you to come in, I, I had... Uh, you know, uh, Arnold, share yes. a little bit about Hello. the history of Tampa. And I'm going to bring the box Hello, back Arnold. Up. Hi, darling. I'm going to bring this not? box back up real Good. quick. Let me see. Uh, you know what? I'll find it later. I, that's okay. But I'm going to share it with you later. It's a box from, what would you say that box was from, uh, Arnold? What year? 
I want to say it's like 1950 or 1951. I remember hearing um, about that. That is amazing. You really 19, that? you're thinking 1950, you said? I'm thinking, yeah, early 50s, yeah. maybe even older yeah. than that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Really let, me, let, me, let, me, let me bring up. Let me bring up the picture, Cynthia, real quick. Hang on. I love to see it. Thank you, okay, guys. Okay, hang on. Well, you guys, and thank you for joining while. us tonight, Arnold. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having us. For having mm -hmm. me, I mean, I'm honored Absolutely. to be under you. Anytime you like to join us on Fridays or Mondays, you're more than welcome. Well, actually, do you know Fred Montesino, Cynthia? Fred Montesino, <laughs> my brother Carlos Wood. That sounds very familiar. Yeah. Okay, well, he knows him, so I'm gonna I'll, hang, I'm gonna share this right now. Look at that okay. box. Tell oh, me. Oh, wow. Yes. What, yes. what year would you say that box, um, Cynthia, honestly? Mm, mm. I would say it has to be. I'm sure Calito would know. 50s? That's really, really old. Early, right? Yeah, I could be. It's hard to say. It's very hard for me to see the detail of it. Yeah, yeah. But I remember, sure, yeah. I remember when Arna was talking about that. If Calito's on, ask him. I'm thinking at least early 50s. That's my guess. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to figure out. Mm. I know it's a slide top, he said, but either it's way, it's a slide top, yeah. But either way, we'll definitely look into that, and uh, and also I, we, we'd love to have. Now wait know, a minute, this. do you have the cigars in there? Or you just have the. <laughs> oh, I, I wish I had the cigars. <laughs> I'm Boy, kidding. I'm kidding. Somebody enjoyed those a long time ago. I'll tell you that. Yeah. No, but just to have the box alone, like in my office here in oh, my yeah. home, I have certain what boxes from way back and I love them because it's the art of oh, way back in the day, all the memories and so forth. The character, right? The character yeah. of yeah. those old boxes. Yeah. And I currently have uh, some Berevas, it's the boy empty boxes that I went through the Berevas oh, wow. boy for my grandson's birth, I mean, uh, birth. Oh, yes. congratulations, by the yes. way. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. And of course we made some, and then a shout out to my brother Carlos and Ciro and Tabacalera Fuente, they send to the factory in Tampa, like four boxes with Zachary nice. Carlos and the day he was born on it. Yes. So let's and then we the made box. some. So we've been sharing. We've been sharing. Cigars let's are to be shared, especially they're celebratory. This week. Sharing is sharing. Well. Oh, yeah. birthday. Tell me, Boom. girl, happy birthday anyway. Tell me, what did you Cheers do for your birthday week? Cheers to the 64th week? year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. What are you drinking, Tony? What are you drinking? Oh, I want to show, I want to show you this. And then Come I'm on, guys, you. give it up. Yeah. What are you drinking? This is what I'm I know Tony's right. drinking Chevy's Oh, new. God, wait. Look at that. You know, this was this one's not your dad's hold favorite because this on. is something that your dad always drank 18, but this is something that came across. I didn't know. I wanted to pick this bottle up just for, for the fact that the symbolic mm -hmm. name. Let I mean, me see, the, Tony. The number 13. Look at that. Oh, that's very, wow. That was that's your dad's a treasure. favorite number. It's 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 that's one cool. of the barns at the factory. That's a treasure. At, at Chateau de la Fuente. You better so, believe it. Yeah, this this is a special number here. So well, I good for you. Get... So cheers to my birthday, darling. Yes, cheers. I oh, love yeah. that. Cheers. Thank Hang you for on. the birthday wishes too. I'm still getting back to people. Cheers. Really? Wow. Yes. Yes. I'm, I am telling you. I received. Oh, you got a lot of messages. So, okay, yeah. wait. My house is filled with fresh flowers absolutely filled wow and and i have i mean my house is a little roomy and also gifts i got a cartier my brother carlos will remember this a cartier cologne for oh, my friend nice. paul nicholas Very who nice. works at the grad grand cathedral thank you paul and beautiful flowers from jj our friend jj of course my daughters my nieces everyone it was so and and then you know my 97 year old friend angie sejas her caregivers got together and sent me a dozen roses. Can you imagine that, Tony? Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. So sweet, I swear. Facebook, Instagram, I mean, messages. I really appreciate all the love. What, what did Lisa get you? Lisa sent me some beautiful <laughs> flowers. Flowers. Know she's your dear she knows how much I love fresh flowers, and they're mostly all orange because that's our that's favorite awesome. color. Oh, yeah. Ah. And then we're gonna go to dinner. Her and Kim want to treat me to dinner uh, cool. sometime this week. Yeah, so it's been super That's nice. Cool. It's been beautiful. Every day we've had something. So at King Corona International, um, a couple of nights ago, it was Richard Swoop's birthday. He's a brother of the Leaf, and uh, so he invited some people over. So I went, and it was really nice to see so many people, brothers and sisters of the Leaf from Tampa. It was enjoyable. It's been really nice. That's awesome. Very nice.
Yeah, yeah we got that's everybody great. on here. They're saying happy birthday, Cynthia, from Rich from New Jersey. Thank we you, got, Rich. We got Victor, Luca Torto. Oh, thank you. I mean, hey, brother, let's see who else oh, we got. Yeah. Who else we got? We got Cesar Fernando. And of Very course, nice. Carlos, Hello, Caesar. your brother says he's in Boston. Yeah. I know what oh, you mean, brother. He's him. talking to somebody else there. Oh, and good. Cheers. Good, good, good. So, no, no, also, I'm... he's visiting uh, his his son, young Carlos. Oh, that's I still, okay. so I still refer to him as baby Calito. <laughs> and he's like 22 now. God bless him. Or 23. God, that's weird. Man, they're going too go. fast. I can't oh, believe where? it. Uh, young oh, Carlos. Crazy. That's the next generation. Point to the next generation. You know, I, I, oh I, yes. Wait a minute. Hold on. The fifth generation. When oh, I give a oh, cigar the fifth, out, there, oh, that's right. Fifth generation I, now. Wait. wait oh, oh, wait a minute. God. Here, here's one. When I give a cigar out that says uh, Zachary Carlos, I don't know if you can see it. Oh there wow. You know. Oh, I got to have cool. right? one of them. I oh, got to sure. have one of them. But then I say, I'm hopeful. That's a Hemingway, right? right? Yes, a Hemingway classic. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. And then I say, I am hopeful that he will be the next generation, the fifth generation, wow. with the passion and the love in his blood yes. for yes. tobacco and for the family to carry on. Boom. Absolutely. Cheers. Absolutely. Okay? God bless. God bless. I'm owning that. <laughs> I'm owning it. Oh, absolutely. But I'll tell and you, along you, with Osana's three children, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, no. You, there, there's just so much generation there that, that, that they're gonna they're gonna take it to the next level. That's what it's Praise about. God. And the family and the love of the leaf. And, Amen. And now, I just to lately the, though to the generation all more the way ladies to the than men, right? Generation. Oh yeah. There's more uh females yeah. than males. As far yeah, as grandchildren, sure. and uh, well, it would be great grandchildren. There's three boys and oh, wow. one girl, and the great grandchildren. But we, yeah, my parents have eight grandchildren and six there's girls out of the eight. Yes, wow. yeah. my son was a first awesome. uh, male finally <laughs> after a long <laughs> while. But you know what? That's, That's beautiful, though. Yeah, my father loved and my mother all his their grandchildren. Who doesn't? So I, you know, I know you're still celebrating your birthday week. What, oh, do you yeah. got, what do you got planned for this weekend? Mm, okay. So, well, the lady that um, that does my hair, one of them, it's her birthday as well, Margarita. I love her. So her husband's giving her a surprise tomorrow. I know she's not listening in. So they're going to dinner and they're going to some Colombian uh club or you know like a restaurant colombian so i'm going to be in the middle of all colombia music it's just Ooh. like a family friends gathering but i'm going to do that tomorrow and during the day i'm going with christina bianca rosana whoever can join in nice, to see nice. the movie with george clooney and julia roberts oh you know gotta what? get that oh, wow. in. that 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 came out teresa wants me to oh go yeah see tonight, that movie tonight i'm gonna go see it it looked like it was a good movie so i seen the previews I think that's the plan tomorrow. Well, definitely, you guys are going to go see it. We're mm. going to definitely see it. I know Teresa's like watching it on the show right now. She's probably oh yeah, that's going to be a load of fun. Yeah, man, I got to yeah. see that movie. I got to check it mm. out. Yeah, so, and know. I would have been at the cathedral today, but after I left the office, Christina uh, and Zach had to go pick up a car or her new car, so I stayed with okay. Zachary Carlos. So I didn't have time to go to the cathedral to get on the show. But normally on Thursdays and Fridays or Saturdays, they have live music. It's wonderful. So I'll do the show oh, wow. from there sometime, too. Oh, yeah. H tell me All that right. you've been to the Grand Cathedral, please. Yeah, I was I was okay. actually there, uh, let's see, two Fridays ago. Okay. All right. Eric, you, you know Frank Herrera, the attorney, the trademark attorney? Of course. Remember of Frank? Of course. Yeah. Yes. He's a good friend of mine. So he okay. calls me, I think it was okay. not last Friday or the Friday before. And he said, Arnold, I'm only going to be in Tampa one night. And I really want to see you. I mean, he's a great friend of mine. And I said, okay, Frank. I said, where, where are you going to be? He said, the cathedral. I said, all right, I'll be there. Very so, good. of course, we, we got to go there and hang out with Dominic and his daughter. And it was, yes. it was great. It was, it was, uh, They're wonderful. They're wonderful. And you know, Dominic, Dominic is from Union City. And, yes, uh, I, and know I, yeah. I know I he is. Yeah. I know he is. Oh, wait a minute. Union you were born there? Or I was born you... in Union City. And oh, I was really? there until about, I was, yeah, till I was about 13 years old. So, so of course, do you a lot know people, Dominic from there or from here? I know him from here, but here's the deal. All of Dominic's friends are friends uh -huh. of mine. A okay. lot of old pops. And uh -huh. God, we just uh -huh. went back and forth with stories. 
Right. And, my, right. and Francis also with the greatest scores. I mean, Jersey, Jersey's an interesting place too. <laughs> so we we talked about some interesting stuff, you know. And, I, I, I really enjoyed my time there with him, you know? A lot of great people come from New Jersey. Let me Absolutely. tell you, I think the world of Dominic. He is such a gentleman. Him and his daughter. All of the staff at the Grand Cathedral are one and only. I have to oh my say, God. they have the best service that you could ever wish for when you walk into oh, a that cigar place lounge. Is being run like a well-oiled machine. Right? I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like I agree. And Angela, you really cares about her employees and Nathan. They really care. I, I've seen and you can tell with, with, with all the girls, I guess the bartenders, you know, they, it seems like they got a big crew there and they, they're well taken they care do. of. And they take care of the customers. Oh, a hundred percent. His son was there too. Dominic Jr. Yes. Oh yeah. Believe me. If I go there or like a girlfriend will meet me or what have you, his son will walk them to the car. Oh, that looks That's so what nice, Tony. So, oh, let me let me go ahead and show share something with show you guys. Show us so, that. Yeah. So that that's well, I've got the little lights. I got a little plant really going cool. on, you know. But let me show you what I've been working on for the Montesino. That looks so nice. Uh, you got the pink lights in the background. No, no, it's not pink. It's actually red. It looks pink. Does it? You need to get it's pink for because, October. No, it's because the lighting on on that's showing it tries to make it more pinker. But it's actually it looks red. awesome. And then okay. on Monday, of course, it all turns green. But let me just share this with you guys. Check this out. Boy, that's a beautiful. When I wake up in the morning, oh, I thank God no. for all my blessings, my family, our health, a little Cuban coffee. It, it's and then it works, everyone. Me gusta fumar un don canto. By little, it's I love of, that song. Oh my God, Tony, you that's come a long way. <laughs> oh, you no, just no. moved into the house. Yeah, I know, no, I know. But you know, the boxes you sent me, I have a, I have all those boxes, you know. And there's something that I'm, I'm gonna need more boxes because there's something when I went to the DR. We can send you a lot of box, props, let me tell a lot you, of yeah, empty boxes. There was the something. Back. Okay, I don't know if you you got a chance to go to the box factory. They have boxes around oh, a yeah. frame. And oh, it was yeah. a red yeah. velvet. Beautiful. I want to do that. Yeah. That okay. is like you can do it. You can do it. You yeah, yeah. It. So you know, you like I don't know how to mount them. I'll, I'll figure that out. But mount the boxes on a red felt, and then a gold frame, mm -hmm. and then you know each of the boxes. You know, maybe the man, uh, rare pink, of course, you know, or, of course, or, or whatever. Either boxes and then Don frame Carlos them. personal. Yeah, yeah. Reserve. I think it'll look really nice in here. You know. And when Christina I seen it, I said, I, I told, I told Ciro, I said, bro, 
That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, it that's is. another It's level. all beautiful. Yeah, yes. no, no, absolutely. Yeah, but you look, I mean, your place looks like it's a, it's a, a man's cave. Should I say that? <laughs> I mean, it's like a, sm a smoking no, lounge. No. Let me tell you something. It's a smoking lounge, Tony. Let me tell that you looks something. amazing. I don't know if they have it. Maybe you, they do, but I don't know if they do. Has Noah done anything for you? Has he commissioned anything? Are you talking to Arnold? Oh, for to me you. personally? I'm talking to you, yeah. Because those photos are all Noah's. Is there anything? Oh, I mean, I have some right there on my stairwell. Three beautiful ones, and one that's an original. Okay. And it has uh, white roses and so forth. But I have, okay. I have uh, Andy Garcia's. I have uh, quite a few paintings right. of his in my house. Okay. No, because I know that uh, there's. There, I, I'd like to see something that Noah commissions from you, like one of your your favorite cigars. I don't know if it was like. The number three at one time, you know. The, oh, it the, still the, is. The, the, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I, oh, I, you know, I have a few. Yeah, yeah. We, but yeah. I don't see that. I mean, that we should do that. Well, the one over I here. I think so too. That I, one's I, an open that's a good idea. Don Carlos, your dad. But I'd like to see yeah. Noah do something for you. That would yes. be incredible. I would love I that as well. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna talk so, to that man. He's so talented. <laughs> oh no! Okay? I mean, I agree. I'm oh no! He, there has to be something, you know. And I said, wait a minute, there's something missing here. We gotta have something. I would love for he to, yes, and even to have the one that my father, my brother, and I are walking down the farm. Yeah. And shot to oh, the no, 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 absolutely. That's such a beautiful, uh, I, that's one of my favorites. No, I was, talking about but I mean, yes, talk amazing. about my favorite. That what now? The ad, the ad that you guys were in in the fields from back in the 90s. That's nice. Well, that that's right? one of them. Yes, that's one I of love them. That. But there's I love another. That. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What I've been looking for is the poster of you and your dad with the Montesino. Yes, I know. That I is wonder a classic. if we have any more. Ooh. That would be great. Oh, the one, you know, the one of her with, that with the tobacco Somebody bales, right? It. In the factory? Yeah. We have that one, one too. Yeah. But there's one that my father and I that's were cool. looking like at the different shades of the cigars, and, yeah. and we use yes. it as a Montesino Monday ad. And I'm standing right that by him. That one's great too. And then the tear ad. There's a few. Yeah, that's like that's like going back early, early to mid '90s, I think. Yeah, we we got to we got to get we get to find yeah. that that poster. And no, like so when I was talented. at the factory. Oh yeah, no, we will, ads, we will. Remember? People, yeah, a lot of the salesmen they'll be at a different smoke shops and they'll screenshot and send me a picture of like us, you know, pictures from the '90s, the early 2000s. Oh, I got a bunch of them. Oh yeah. The eighties. I treasure that stuff. Lord, man. You know, yeah, these decades those, are coming but, along. But those, those, that's oh, man. history, man. They're creeping that is, up. They're that's something that has to be in the archives. It's and the history in you know? the making, darling. Yeah. And it is what we do every Sunday on Meet the Professor, every Mon Montesino on Mondays, Fuente Fridays on Fridays, and everyone, it's history in the making. And like Absolutely. Tony, what you usually say. It's all these different platforms yep. that everybody has jumped on that wagon at the beginning yep. of the pandemic, and we have not got off, and we are not getting. People really enjoy this. We're not thing. getting off. We got to reach everybody get to all over the world, share guys. With the world, oh my God! So then, Andy and Garrett from the international group, they sent me a beautiful thing for uh, my birthday. All these different pictures. I mean, like we have friends from all over the world. Reinhardt. Oh, I mean, wow. there's yeah. Yeah, which is a beautiful thing, and we're still doing it. And I, I believe we're going to continue, don't you? Oh, William Cooper, can't forget William Cooper. Matthew Tobacco, there's so many. Today I had a T-shirt on that says, "I, I love cigar, I, and I, but I also help people," and that, that's what I had I like on earlier. That. Yes, because Matthew and Nicole had done a fundraiser for the foundation, yes. the Cigar Family Charitable Foundation. They made these T-shirts, and we're all wearing them. I'll look, show you Monday if I, I remember. I'll, I'll tell you. Look, these platforms are reaching more people than than you know the big smokes where everybody has to go there. But you're reaching people from all walks of life and from all over the world. People dig it. People Life's really dig it. It's yeah. not going to stop. <laughs> Life Huge. It's grown so for, much. It is here for life, for as as you know it, because the, it's 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 a. I'm I'm not I'm not kidding you guys. Life I agree, is a hundred percent, and I love it. Multi-billion-dollar industry now: the cameras, the lights, and the, the computers, Zoom. the microphones. Okay? Zoom. The, oh yeah, All the Zoom it. platform. Who, who I did, mean, everybody who invented that's on Zoom. Zoom. Look at this. Yeah, everybody's wow. on Zoom. Everybody has a computer, so people are buying computers. 
and if they want to upgrade to 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 the uh, cameras, they're upgrading from the computer camera to a thirty five mirrorless camera lighting. They're getting it. I mean, it's 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 growing. It's not oh, it's so it's huge. Even if you watch TV, like yeah. the Bloom Show, uh, the Today Show, what have you, they bring a lot of people on still by yeah. Zoom. They sure if they do. want to interview them and they can't be there in person, they bring them on. So it, it's definitely been Let's great. See I see. Oh, saying. there's my brother. The teardrop ad after all uh, said has been best original ad ever. Only foot this yes, Wednesday without know. Cynthia. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Without Cynthia ad would not have been possible. What is amazing uh, that almost 30 years later, Fuente could run. The, you know what? You're right, Carlito. Amen. You don't Carlito, have to have brother, new ads. You can run Thank the you. same ads that you guys have been running for years. And they still look the same, too. Right? Yeah. They still look the same. No, they don't but... age. I don't oh, know what it is. Lord, I'm, right. I'm freaking aging. I don't Listen. see Cynthia aging. I don't see Carlito <laughs> aging. Look at me. My hair's white. My he beard beautiful, is white. Tony, Forget about that. I want the fountain hair. of youth. I want to know. Tony, you still what, got hair. I don't, you know what it is? I don't have any more hair. Oh, they, Arnold. Oh, but you got a great no, hat on. Arnold. You look good. I'm going to tell you what it is. Let me tell you what's keeping Cynthia and Carlito not aging at all. They have a certain cigar they're smoking. I don't know what it is, but I gotta get my hands on it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Have you ever seen the wait listen? Have you ever seen the movie Chocolate? Chocolate? Yes. Yes. It's an old movie. I, with, so with, she's uh, a baker. With she Johnny Depp. chocolate. With Johnny Depp. With, with Johnny Depp. I love, Depp. That movie. I love those gives, kind of movies. When those people taste that chocolate, yes. oh, their changes. whole bodies wow. just melt. That's what yes. happens when oh, you oh. have and let me a tell you flippant so, cigar. Teresa, Loves right. the darkest, right. richest chocolate. That's her favorite dessert. Does she really? She likes oh, yeah. the dark chocolate. Oh, she's a chocolate. Oh man, she there loves go. chocolate. The dark. That's she doesn't like milk no chocolate. Brother. She loves the rich the dark ripping. chocolate. And I tell you, that rich dark chocolate. It's more healthier like for you. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and and it's just like smoking a fine cigar, man. It's the same thing. The flavors and everything. I'm just. I'll tell you what. I'm really enjoying this one. And this one was in what my. What are you humidor. smoking, Arnold? Okay, I'm smoking a Magnum R52. Okay, I thought so. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that from earlier. Okay. And I got to tell you, this one's been in my humidor here at home like 15 years at least. So it is really good. It is really good. Very good. Oh, good. And what kind of notes are you experiencing from it? Kind of like, I would say cocoa and a little bit of chocolate, I I think, you know. Um, I would say it's definitely milder than the normal ones, if that makes any sense. Like, I usually categorize them as a medium body. But man, this one is so smooth. I guess the the time in the humidor has just kind of let all the leaves marry each other. They're all smooth. Very good. No, the Magnum Moore is a great series. Cynthia, somebody says you have the Benjamin Button syndrome. What is that? You never seen Benjamin Button, the movie? I did. I did years ago. But what's the syndrome? Well, (laughs) the syndrome because. He, he's actually going back in time. You know, he was an old man. Oh, he, so that's what they mean. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're sweet, going, beautiful yeah. thing. Thank you. Know, you. He right, ends because up being he's a baby. Going, he, yeah, it's like he never aged. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's a compliment. Thank you. And I'm sure I don't look my best right now because I'm on the phone versus the computer, but it's all right. We're all good. It's all right. We're on. This is important. There you go. Right? We're but on I'll and we're making you, it happen. The main thing is that we're here and we're reaching people. Mm-hmm. We're reaching people on this happy Fuente Friday. Guys, if you're dropping in right now, let us know what cigar you're smoking. I know Michi is probably still smoking that 888. Let's see if that. Oh, earlier. she was smoking an 888. Yeah, Michi. That's what she said earlier. Oh, my oh, word. Me- oh, gosh. She's yeah, so beautiful. You know, so Michi said- sent me for my birthday this beautiful thing in the mail, and it says, Friends, uh, something about friends are like made because you're not you shouldn't walk alone in life something like that i gotta get it downstairs uh-huh. but it's beautiful thank you michi and it's it's so valuable when you have true friends and, and guys and I have, remember yeah. michi has a great show which yes is, she does you know, she's starting Casa back Cuba sundays and uh, please you know yes yeah. the, the show I, michi chime in I, I know she's there somewhere let us know what time you guys are on so that we can tell the viewers that are here to definitely. I mean, Michi shares this show with 30 groups. She's a great right. supporter oh, yes. yeah. of Montesino she Monday. Knows. She's great. And Fuente Friday 2.0. Thank you, Michi, for all you do Thank for the you, show. Thank you, of course. And for your gift, this is too. Your show too, we'll too, say Michi. as well. I need to get Michi on here. Where? Let me send her the link. Where, where are you, Michi? Are you still oh, there? Can you come on the come show? On Let me know, and I'll hello. send you the link. 
She might be on the, on the virtual cigar bar. Oh, okay. That's going on right now. That's right. I want to say hello to everybody on there, too. I haven't been on in a while. Yes. I'm going to try to so, hop on and say hello we're, later we're, on. We're coming Where's up Andy time. today? What's, she said? What's that? Where's Andy today? I don't know. I sent him the link. Okay. I, I don't, don't know. But she might be traveling. She's working on some new material. Okay, good. Okay, Michi. good. So we're getting ready. So before we go ahead and close out the show, first of all, we're going to go to Arno, which which is our special guest today. Thank you for showing up, Arno. I can't wait to stop by when I go to Tampa. I'll be there, I think, it's be a pleasure. the Thursday Absolutely. before. Either Thursday or Wednesday, me and Teresa are flying in, and then I'll be there, and then that Monday I leave for the DR, go do my thing over there. So, uh, you know, any, any, final, any final words, any thoughts on this happy Flint to Friday, Arnold? I just want to say I'm really honored that you had me on, and uh, it's always a pleasure to be here with you and, and to share the time with Cynthia and the rest of the Fuente family. I mean, they're, you know, they're, you guys are all an extension of my family, really, you know? Because you know what? Like Alito always says, it's not about the cigars, it's about the people. Amen. And, uh, there you go. I, I kind of stole that phrase from him, that but I think good. my dad – my Say, dad it again, always used to Say it again. It's not about the cigars. It's about the people, guys. Yes. Yep. Yes. And yep. if you don't do it with what, don't do it at all. What does you Jeremiah do with love, say? Passion. If you don't do it with can passion, I share, don't can do I share it at one all. more thing? Of course, more, please. One, one more. We love it. I was just going to say earlier, I remember at one of the trade shows going back to like the early 2000s that, uh, you know, I had an opportunity to talk to your dad and your brother. And this was many, many years ago, you know, like 20 years ago. And the love that you guys gave me, you know, your dad specifically and your brother, oh. it was just so magical to me. And, I mean, I've always been a huge Fuente fan, even though, you know, I make my own little cigars too, but I've always been a yes. huge Fuente fan. And just ha having had a chance back then to, to spend some time with your brother and your dad, it, it just meant the world to me. You know, and the love that you guys, you know, you guys are the real deal. That's, there's nothing else to say. Exactly. That's, Gosh, real. that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing yeah. that, Arnold. Absolutely, Thank you. Arnold. That was Hello, my dear special. friend, Kim, making it happen. Thank you for the beautiful flowers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, of course, my sister, mm -hmm. Cynthia, any final thoughts on this happy Fuente mm -hmm. Friday? And well, for one, week? thank you, Arnold, for, for uh, sharing that story because I always love to – to hear stories that people have to share about, you know, spending time with my father, Carlos Arturo Fuente, or my mother, Ana Luisa, you know, or like like all West Tampa stories or Ybor City, that really takes me back and it makes oh, me feel cool. very good. So thank you, Arnold. Thank you for joining us pleasure. tonight. And thank you for, uh, for being a part of Fuente Friday. Yes, happy Absolutely. Fuente Friday to everyone. Kale, my girl, she's on. I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> she got the shingles vaccine, Lord. Oh. If not, we would we would be together tonight for sure. Oh. Anyway, happy Fuente Friday to everybody. And I want to take the opportunity, if I may, Tony, thank you for everything you do for us, for our family, for the foundation, for Fuente Friday, for Montesino Monday, for everything you do. More importantly, for being another brother to me. And um, also to everybody out there, to the to the whole entire world, seriously. Yes. Thank you for all the warmth, the Thank love, you, the everything, the birthday wishes. Yes. I can never be more. I mean, I am so grateful. Uh, God has um, really blessed me in so many ways. I know everybody in life, we all have our challenges. But, you know, just having so many people that you know care about you and we all have each other's back. It's just a really beautiful thing, and it really makes my heart feel super good. I feel very blessed and very grateful. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for all the wonderful birthday wishes. It was great. It, we're still in it. It's yes. October. Happy birthday. Yes. We celebrate the whole month. Oh, yeah. Wait a Forget minute. About it. Well, guys, Look, I thank seen, you. Wait, 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 oh, Tony. Yes, I have to say yes. this. I seen, I have to, this is my closing comment. I seen, like, on Instagram, it said, I love living in a world where there are Octobers. And that's the way I feel. Because October is the month I was born, my favorite month of the year. And Libras are just, you know, one and only, darling. There you go. What do you well, think, Tony? You what go. do you think, Tony? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you so much from Cynthia Fuente and myself. Thank you, Arnold, for coming on. Happy Fourth Thanks, Friday. Guys. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Thank you. Thank and you. We'll see you on Montesino Monday. Ya Sounds good. Sabes. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Only Fuentes Fuente. Only Fuentes Fuente.
Arnold, yes, thank you, darling. Have a beautiful no weekend. More. You too. Oh, Have a great yes, night. That'll be for one away. day. Wait a minute. And you know what? Yes. Galito will be joining us on Monday. Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, I got him. Hold got on. Him. I got that guy in the corner right over there waiting. I don't have a Montesino with me. I got the Cuban flag. Oh. The well, look, remember I was telling you really quick about the Brevas? It's a boy and it's a girl. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm there talking about old times. Nice. Wow. Okay, That's we really still pretty. sell a lot of them, too. But like, you know, that it. box that you have from back <laughs> in the day? Nice. That is nice. This is Breva, sweetie. So yes, when you have it's a, a baby, boy, it's a boy. or a grandbaby, you can buy these too. That's right. Fuente All right, guys, we'll see you later. Okay, we Take love you guys. Love bye -bye. you guys. Happy Fuente Friday. Happy Fuente Friday. All right. Cheers.